My research considers the military, political, and legal struggles for these lands and how the borders of the territories came to be at the heart of the conflict. A 1739 treaty became a contested document for the British Colonel Kojo and his allies and their descendants. That land over which they struggled represented not only the Maroons' continuing autonomy for the colonial state, but also the legal and practical future for continued generations of Maroons. Each site in this photo essay represents these symbolic and concrete struggles over this territory, a fact that Maroons commemorate to this day. The 1739 treaty brought peace between the British and the Maroons. However, the Maroons contend that the British took advantage of Colonel Cujo's illiteracy and instead of granting 10,000 acres of land reaching from Falmouth to the Black River, gave him 1,000 acres in the Cockpit Mountains. After the Jamaican government tried to eliminate Maroon communities in 1842, the Akampung sought to expand their land holdings in accordance with the 10,000 acres they thought they were owed. Hence, they claimed Kutzbach, a land parcel directly north of Akampung, which is home to the superintendent's house. Oh. 